Number one in Ogdot. Wow, look at this. Look at this. 2 million damage. Number one ranking. <laughs> Just a triple S, not the triple S plus. Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. Haven't had a chance to do so. So basically, this is my tournament battles for the recent one, season 4. Alright, so I fought... I did not fight against Kaya... Kaylis? Apparently, this guy was absent. So immediately when the time was up, uh, it just says that my battle was immediately won and then I got into R of 64. And then in the R of 64, that was the real struggle. I did have the screenshot and I did manage to record the video but I wasn't at home so I was like playing in a shopping mall or something so this is what happens I fought against a user called Edward and at first I was like this guy looks familiar then I look at his name and I'm like okay he's a champion of last season champion literally first freaking place alright and then I go ahead I even look at uh, I try to analyze his team he has Barbara plus 15 and like almost everyone is maxed out which is extremely annoying you know but surprisingly he has Lito though for someone who is a champion I'm not sure if this is the exact same team that he used uh, offensively this looks more like a defensive team to me but I could be wrong but right here I'm just analyzing his team and trying to maybe get a grasp and prepare myself ahead but I'm a bit demoralized after lo looking at this because Fighting a champion is not uh, going to be fun. Okay, so entering the battle, this is what uh, is happening. So apparently he's the one going first. So I'm just right here, I'm just waiting for his particular turn. And then of course he starts off. He starts off with Michaela to Velfren. So I have no idea what to go. So I'm just going to go with my generic formation right here, which is Livia, Serendia and uh, Velfren in the middle. So from this point onwards, he started placing Stella, and I'm like, okay, so that means he will have all the offensive lanes going to the top. Alright, so he has Asmode, he has Leto, so I knew, alright, if he uses Leto, I have to use some sort of bomb, right? So therefore, that's what I go for. But then I saw Anastasia in the middle, okay, that's not going to be easy. Anastasia in the middle, alright, so that means I will have to protect against that with a Cecilia of some sort. From this point onwards, I'm kind of confused in a way. So I just place a Qwick. And I go with my own version of S mode. I want to be offensive as well. And then I place a Zakan in the middle. So this is probably the biggest mistake that I am I have done. So I tried to be greedy right here, but I actually did not think this through properly. The reason why Zakan was there is because I want Anastasia to die from Zakan. But I should have used a Cecilia to block that Anastasia. I guess I'm just... I guess I was just worried that the Cecilia will be able to... I mean that Anastasia will be able to one-shot my Cecilia. And therefore I don't have any solution to that uh, Velfen right there. So at this point I know I'm pretty much screwed up. Uh, yeah, I screwed up real hard. And then he has Barbara going in forward. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, Barbara, first place. Not sure... Not sure what is that Barbara going to do. She is going to receive one buff from the uh, Walia. And I'm guessing that Barbara was the response to my Zakan in a way. So I went for Arkan and Lucius. I just knew I already lost the battle. So this is what that happens. So ideally if you guys can't tell, most likely I'm going to lose this one because of the positioning of everything. I should have used Cecilia. Right here, I have no idea why I did not. I always screw up my tournaments, I have no idea why. Maybe because I was nervous or, you know, maybe I, I'm just not at home and it makes things difficult. But, yeah, from this point onwards, that Velfen, since he's moving first, gonna blow up everyone in the middle, just like that, alright? And from that point onwards, uh, I guess this is the benefit or the advantage of going first. You get to move first, so therefore, your Velfen is going to move first compared to the enemy's Velfen. So if I were the one to move first right there, that might have been me winning right there. I don't know. Could have ended up probably differently. But yeah, GG to Edward. Good game nonetheless.
Okay, so I was going to check out all the other tournament matches right here and basically do like a quick review or a look through. But when I go to replay battle, apparently it says matches completed in the previous versions cannot be replayed. So I'm not sure what that means. Uh, does that mean that they have deleted all the matches from the server? It looks like that's the case because I can't watch anything at all right here. So obviously I can tell that invalid one is the vic victor going forward but... I am unable to watch any of the matches, which is unfortunate. So yeah, let's just watch some replay from the underground arena. I guess we will watch this one between Sanitarium and Bat Equilibrium. So basically, I am kind of familiar with these two players. Uh, they are both pretty high rank. So let's go. Let's have a look. What is this all about? Okay, so we have a Lilian. We have a Lian going on for Bat Equilibrium. Okay, that's kind of an odd. Um, placement right there. Stella to Walia, just like that. Like, what is happening? Alright, and then we have Stella to Venaka to Foxy. Okay, so whenever you use Stella, I feel like Stella is not that good in Underground Arena. Like, don't get me wrong, she's a great unit, great supporter overall, but I feel like she doesn't shine in Underground Arena and Tournament as much as perhaps in uh, Guild Wars and the regular arena. The reason is because whenever you place her like this, you know that there's going to be like some warriors or some sort of units that's going on behind her, right? So ideally that's the case. And then there, there. like I mentioned, Asmuth, uh, Venaka, we have Qwik, which is kind of odd. Why Qwik though? Oh, Qwik is to distract from the foxy but that's not going to make sense what is this formation though why is everybody so close together and why is that walia right there i mean that that walia is gonna attract the foxy towards her i don't know i feel like this is kind of an odd one so bad equilibrium equilibrium is gonna move first for sure walia will have that taunt for sure and foxy is gonna end up hitting walia and uh Asmode right there. Is that what he wants? I have no idea. So Barbara, a good response right there from Sanitarium. I think that's the ideally the best counter. And then we have this is a bit odd. Uh, Foxy, we have Vals, we have a uh, Barbara, we have Adin. I mean it's a bit too many too many warriors right there. I feel like that's a bit too much. I feel like four warriors is a bit too much, but yeah, let's see what's the response from Bad Equilibrium. Alright, so we have a Foxy going on next, followed by Dalvi, and then we have uh, Wilhelmina all the way there. So not sure what's the reason of that Foxy being there. Just to get rid of... Uh, just to get rid of Barbara, but most likely uh, there's going to be some sort of counter, like a Lillian or something blocking that particular lane, I think. And there we go. A Lillian and a Lucius. Alright, so let's have a look at this. So Bad Equilibrium is going to move first. We're going to have the Asmode. Going to get stuck at Lillian for sure. And then... So this is the odd part. Qwik. I mean Lian only gets one buff from Qwik. So I'm not sure why that was there. Okay, and then we have Foxy. This is what I'm talking about. The Thorn is there. Therefore Foxy is going to hit both the... Uh, Walia and Asmode right there. And Dalvi will be able to one hit KO. Oh my god, Barbara cleaning up. Cleaning up service. GG, looks like. Oh, this is painful to watch. How did that Eddie not die from the Q week, man? Zoop, just a Dalvi. What can you do with the Dalvi? Oh, that Foxy got Charm Counter from Asmut. Okay, they are struggling to get rid of. Oh, the Barbara is plus 14. If that was a plus 15, she might be able to one-shot that Dalvi. Oh boy, Sanitarium. You might be done for. Everyone is charm. Everyone is charm. Oh, oh my god. The comeback is real. Oh, what? Vals killing herself and the teammate. The comeback is real, man. The comeback is real. Look at this. Lucius and Cecilia getting stuck. What? Alright, I don't think I don't think Cecilia and Lucius can do anything against Dalvi. Like, there's just nothing that they can do. Oh my god, the damage. This is a plus 15. 
Oh, it's a plus 15. GG. Oh my god, that was a beautiful thing to watch. That was incredible. That Dalvi just holding her own throughout in that match. She solo like four warriors? What? That's why you have you need to have a fixed damage in your team. Like if you don't have Wilhelmina, you need to have a fixed damage. You need to have Livia. You can't go into the arena without any fixed damage warriors. It's just look at that. If you leave a Dalvi just standing there, not getting rid of her, everyone will end up killing themselves. That's the true power of Dalvi plus 15 right there. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, man, Dalvi plus 15, you guys saw it here first. Insane power. Never underestimate a Dalvi. I mean, I don't know, after seeing this video, do you guys want to try and build her for yourself? Like for those of you who you haven't even decided or basically you have no intentions of building her like after watching the clip that I showed you guys earlier does that change your mind? like do you guys want that kind of power a plus 15 Dalvi? that's just insane man alright let me know in the comments below as always subscribe give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye and how careless we be all day and all night would stay up it felt so right we were so young we were so dumb we would get drunk and then hook up we were okay we were all right staying awake till the sunrise we were in love couldn't stop us like a good drug yeah. never run we hook up in my car driving so far playing you show me your wrong Let down our guards Think with our hearts Stare at the stars We were never apart Drinking too young 